HST is a pretty unconventional way of training. The principles are definitely different from the norm, and at first it may take some getting used to if you've been on a conventional split for a while. But at the same time, you'll find that your body will grow like it never has before. You'll both gain size and strength with the principles of this program, and in some people's interests, the size may outweigh the strength. A lot of this depends on the individual and how you respond. So what's so unconventional about HST? For a start, you'll be training full body three times a week using one or two sets to absolute failure. Straight off the bat, this may scare some people into not wanting to try this approach. But this is how it works. As you use progressive overload throughout the training program, over time, muscle tissue adapts and becomes resistant to the damaging effects of the mechanical load caused by the trainer. The adaption, resistance to the stimulus, the recruition of new muscle fibers, and repair can happen in as little as 24 to 48 hours. Thus, the interaction between protein metabolization and any meals you consume in this 24 to 48 hour period may determine the impact of muscle hypertrophy. After 24 to 48 hours, it's only going to slow down. With this being said, if you try a muscle group conventionally with 12 to 16 sets, after the training the given muscle is going to be extremely sore, without much in return, as the protein metabolization will end within 24 to 48 hours. Beyond the first effective set, you'll be doing little more than burning calories. Doing more sets means you're just spinning the wheels and not actually going anywhere, and hypertrophy will not be as pronounced. This leaves you in a situation where you're unable to train the given muscle group again until you feel recovered and ready to go. This could be anything up to around 7 days. With HST, the volume is low, but the intensity is really high, allowing you to recruit more muscle fibers, whilst at the same time repeating the process so you get a growth spike three times a week instead of one. Now to me, the latter sounds more appealing. Compound lifts are always preferred to maximize the hypertrophy effects on the muscle as much as we can. Repetitions will decrease every two weeks, so in an eight week program, uh, the order is gonna look like this. 15 reps for two weeks, 10 reps for two weeks, five reps for two weeks, and then continue with your 5 rep max for the next 2 weeks, or you can even begin some negatives. All your maxes personal best should be established before you start any cycle. For your second HST cycle, just apply 10-15 to 15 pounds on each lift. When you start your next 8 week cycle, if you're feeling any strains or injuries, the 15s can be skipped, or just take a deload week. But form is paramount, if this is in check, you should be good to go. Remember, your sets will be limited to 1 or 2 exercises. There's no problem with using 1 or 2 sets as long as you use maximum effort. You need to recruit the type 2 fight or flight muscle fibers to get full benefits from this program. These fibers are the only fibers in the body that are 100% recruitable in terms of hypertrophy. Stimulus for hypertrophy must be frequent enough to create a constant environment for the muscle to adapt to. So don't forget you'll be hitting every muscle group 3 times a week, along with adding additional weight once you get yourself going. Light cardio for 20 to 40 minutes may be performed on rest days. Using the principles of HST, you'll see that your muscles are only slightly sore on the days that you're not training, if at all. But rest is really important, so on rest days make sure that you're not doing any additional activities that could impair your recovery. There are more principles to HST, like the one week strategic deconditioning, um, but I'm not going to get into that in this video as I really want to keep this to the basics. So an actual program can be laid out like this. I personally use this program, um, I change exercises every two weeks. You can take or add exercises as you feel fit, say swapping the flat bench for some dips maybe. So that's about it covering the basics of an HST program. So if you want any more information or a more of an in-depth look at uh, HST, I'll just leave some links in the description.